How's it going, everyone? My name is Christoph Source, and today we're going to be taking a look at Trump's Season 13 Handlock deck. So, kind of cool. We got Hellfire, in case he's a patron warrior, or grim patron warrior. Um, <laughs> and we also have the Twilight Drake uh, for um, like early game with, wow, we have another one too. And usually warriors don't have silence, um, and if they do, it'll be like just an owl or a spellbreaker. And if you play spellbreaker, then you won't be able to kill it, but that'll be fine if he uses a spell or a silence on the Twilight Drake, because we have Sylvanas in this deck, and we have another Twilight Drake anyway, so really we are doing pretty good right now. That's actually fine. Um... I don't know if we should... I guess it doesn't really matter. We could just play this. And we could tab too, so... Whatever. And we have two of these in the deck. Just the Sob Aggro. And then... I think we only have one heal bot, though. But we also have, like, late game threats. Such as Ragnaros, uh, Boom. And uh, Sylvanas of the... Yeah, so this is Grim Patron. So... We can just play Twilight Drake here. And... No big deal. And if I remember right, or if I recall right, Grim Patron Warrior does not have any silences. So this is going to be pretty difficult for him to deal with. And he can't run Grim Patrons into uh, basically anything that we have. He can't really run a Grim Patron into. That's going to be kind of a problem. Actually, not really. Because we can just uh, Dark Bomb. So, we could just Dark Bomb and, and Coil. Even though he gets a ton of armor, but really him having armor is not a big deal. Um, I think we'll just tap. Then we could possibly play Mountain Giant and like something else, like a Taunt or whatever. We're probably going to play Twilight Drake, though. Um, well, actually, if we play Mountain Giant, he can't really deal with that. So he could just end up playing Mountain Giant. He does have two executes, most likely, but that's really all we have to worry about. Like, there's not much that we have to worry about in this guy's deck, honestly. And we want to save Hellfire for his Grim Patron, so... I think we're just going to drop this and uh, drop this, too. Oh, yeah, I guess we should have attacked first, but, um, yeah, I guess we should have attacked first. <laughs> oh, well. I guess, I, I don't know, that's not going to do that much, honestly. Yeah, we can attack into that, that's fine. Ooh. It's not even really that scary, though. I mean, it kind of is, but not really. I mean, he's going to keep getting armor, though, which kind of sucks, but. Um, I think that will just boom. Boom should be fine here. So if he has an execute, if he uses an execute on this, it's not, it's like, okay, whatever. Um, Actually, he can Grim Patron combo now. I think, or no, he can't, because the charge is three. Okay, so this is actually good to have this out before. Um, I didn't even think about that, though. That would have been pretty bad, because then he could have gotten, like, four patrons off of this. So, I'm not sure if he still has coin, though. Maybe? I I think Handlock's pretty good though right now, especially since like Face Hunter's kind of died uh, as far as I've seen, but I also haven't been playing that much over the last few days. Oh, okay, no, and he does have the Grim Patron combo. Well, that sucks. I forgot about, yeah. So that was a bad play. That was definitely a misplay. And this guy's deck is crazy. So hopefully this hits this or this. This guy's gonna. Uh, okay, well, only one. That's not that good, but okay. Hopefully, it's one of these, not these. Or if it does, it kills it. 
Okay, it didn't even kill it. Okay. And he's gonna hit for face with this, I'm assuming. Oh wow, he's got tons of damage. Oh wow, he wasn't even able to attack with that. Okay. Well, that is good. Um, yeah, we would have been down. We would have been down to three health. Yeah, so we we're gonna be able to kill that. He might have been able to win with a. Uh, actually, he could have still won if he had like a weapon. Oh snap! Folded socks. Um, just in case if it's aggro, like Zoo, which it looks like it is, because he only threw back one card. We're going to keep all this. Um, yeah, this is, like, pretty good starting hand against Zoo. I'm not sure we're going to get much better than this against Zoo, honestly. Alright, yeah, this is good. This is good, this is good, this is good. Um, I'm actually going to tab here. And then if he doesn't run into it, which most likely he's going to. We can just mortal coil, but most likely he's gonna like abusive or something. Even if he abusives though, we can still mortal coil next turn, so not too big of a deal. Now we got the ancient washer. Oh wow he's dark all that Wow. That's kinda shocking, but I guess I can kinda see why he did it a little bit, but Whatever. So, no Mountain Giant or Twilight Drake yet, which kind of sucks, but. Um, Draxus, okay. Alright, so I think I was just going to play both of these. Set up for Argus next turn. So most likely he's not going to trade into these. We have Hellfire too. I believe we have two, yeah, we have two Hellfires in here, so. We should be able to last in the late game, because most likely he doesn't have any heals like we do. Oh, wait, yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> Never mind, psych. Um, taunt up. Play a Mountain Giant next turn, hopefully, or some kind of, or we'll clear, which is pretty cool. If he has a Silence, it's not a big deal, because... These are four fives, <laughs> so okay. Implosion, please low. Oh, ro rolled for the highest. Okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully this guy doesn't ha uh, play Malganus. It's gonna be pretty scary. Mm, I think I'm still gonna play Mountain Giant. Well, I was thinking about shadow flaming this, but I'm just like, eh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe I should have. And then just tapped, I guess. Oh. Okay, now we're definitely shadow flaming if he doesn't trade everything. But I highly doubt he's not going to trade everything right here. Because he can kill this. Power. Oh, he has power overwhelming. Oh, wow. He did not kill that? Okay. That was a pretty big. That was a definitely a mistake on his part. Definitely a mistake on his part. He probably was just betting that I didn't have Shadow Flame or Hellfire or anything, which I had both. Oh, that's kind of bad. Question is, do I kill that or do I just play boom? Hmm. I feel like I should kill it, but hmm. actually, I'm just gonna play boom. Cause even if, cause if he runs into this and then he does do damage to himself, then it'll just have three health by that point. He has a second, oh, I thought he had a second BGH. I was like, what? <laughs> this guy's deck is crazy. Get this. Punish him for not attacking first. Okay. I guess that's not really punishment, but. Um, let's tap. Ooh, cool. Yeah, we'll play that instead. Um, we kind of want to play 
Sylvanas when he actually throws something big down. So hopefully we can kill that. Hopefully the bomb hits it. Well, maybe we shouldn't take the risk. I don't know. Should we take the risk? If we take the risk, this won't take any damage. That'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, let's take the risk, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just like, uh, okay. There we go, Mountain Giant. Nice. That's good. And we're going to heal, too. Just because we can. Um, he possibly has Shadow Flames, though. I don't really think about that, but... Oh, okay, cool. No Shadow Flame. Implosion. Please don't hit for 4 again. Oh, okay, I was about to say, he hit for 4 again. Does he have Mortal Coil? He's gonna tap, see if he can get a Mortal Coil. Or is he gonna use a Dark Bomb? Ooh. He hasn't even played a Void Caller yet, either. Ah, I see what you did there. Could just silence. Mm. Yeah, if he has Malganus, this is going to be so sad. Be like, super sad panda. See, if he plays Malgirnus, that's 12 damage. Alright. He's gonna go face. <laughs> Even though he can Molten Giants. I guess we have no more Shadow Flame, right? But I put Sylvanas down just in case if he does throw something big out. And he does have something big. Oh my gosh, he's gonna try and kill him. Oh, ooh. Oh, I thought I was going to silence it. Okay, well, at least we get to steal something. Hopefully we steal this. Oh! Okay. Actually, that's that's pretty good. And now we can just... run into this? Yes. We could Hellfire. Um, technically we don't even really need to Hellfire. We could just, like, hit this. And then tap. And Belcher, I guess. That's fine, yeah. We do have Rag in here, too, so that's pretty nice. Hmm. We have lethal. It's gonna heal for one, three. No, we don't. Okay. Wait, now we have lethal. Wait, no, we don't. Dang it. No, we don't. Ooh. That's kind of good. Actually, probably should have put that over there. Um, I think I'll tap, yeah. Just so then this stuff is cheaper. It's an extra card cheaper. That value, though. This card value, dude. It's so crazy. Aww. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> If he can't kill this, then we win. 
You have nothing? Oh my gosh, she has nothing. My apologies. Should we kill him with Hellfire or Draxus? I think we'll go Draxus. Wait, 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 wait. Molten Giant, Draxus. Out of the Burning Legion. You face Draxus. You face Draxus. Oh Lord, of the Burning Burning. Yes! Yeah, this deck is so strong. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you guys the deck list. Alright, so here's the deck list. Uh, like I said, we have the Zombie Chows, Dark Bombs, all that good stuff. So it's pretty it's pretty decent uh, against uh, aggro, but we do have a fair amount of late game too, so like Face Hunter would, or like Mech Mage maybe, depending on what we get in the starting hand, would probably kill us. But it has like Ragnaros to help us with the late game, and then the Emperor just give you, gives you like tons of value. And then only one heal bot, so there's really only one heal, but the zombie chows really help if you can get them. And then obviously, you know, the mountain giants and molten giants are pretty crazy sometimes too, so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can check out some more Hearthstone videos about me. And like always, thanks guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to catch you in another video. Alright, peace out.